four. Hi everyone, I'm May welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Mace Laval, along with Reed Cook and Jacob Tyler. When you think of comeback stories, you think of the Red Sox battling back from a three games to none deficit to defeat their dreaded rivals, the Yankees. The Red Sox went on to win the World Series that year for the first time since 1918. Or maybe you think about the 1993 Buffalo Bills, who trailed 35-3 in an AFC playoff game, but came back to win 41-38. Now comeback means one word, Tiger. Tiger is back and perhaps has cemented his place as the greatest golfer who, ha who has ever lived after he won the Masters for the first time, for his first major title in 11 years. Tiger trailed by two strokes heading into the final round, but he finished with four birdies on the back nine to capture his first major in 14 years. The Golden State Warriors had done something that Michael Jordan's Bulls, Larry jo uh, Magic Johnson's Lakers, Larry Bird's Celtics, or any team that LeBron James has played for has ever done. And that has reached the NBA Finals in five consecutive seasons. In addition, the Warriors' Steve Kerr is the first coach to take a team to the, to the Finals in each of his first five years in the league. The Warriors swept Portland in the Conference Finals and injured Kevin Durant and now await the winner of the Toronto-Milwaukee Series in the NBA Finals. Did we already talk about a comeback? Maybe this one is on a par with Tigers' return to prominence. Last year, Virginia became the first number one seed to lose to a 16 seed in the NCAA tournament. The loss to UMBC was a shocker and an embarrassment to the Cavaliers. But, but here was Virginia last night, knocking off Texas Tech in overtime to win the national championship. The game was a thriller with a lot of offense for, for two teams known for their defense. Virginia was paced by star forward DeAndre Hunter, who scored 27 points and tournament MVP Kyle Guy had 24. There was no game action at the NFL draft, but we had, but the TV ratings once again were mind blowing as fans of the NFL watched eagerly to see their favorite team, to see who their favorite team would select in Nashville, Tennessee. According to ESPN, more people watched their draft than some games in the NBA playoffs. Arizona made Oklahoma quarterback Kyle Murray the top overall selection. The defense, three defensive linemen went in the top five. The Giants grabbed their QB of the future, selecting Daniel Jones of Duke with the sixth overall pick. And finally, War of Will won the Preakness Stakes in Baltimore by a clear margin. The win gave redemption to pundits of the decision to qualify maximum security, uh, who bumped War of Will at the Kentucky Derby, allowing Country House to win. This was the first time since 1951 that race officials called interference in a race, deci uh, deciding the outcome of one of horses, horse racing's major events. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors, Mason LaValle and Jacob Tyler, I'm Reed Cook. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.